Well, we begin tonight with a developing story. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Spokane Public Schools is updating its sex education curriculum to meet state standards. But the program is it's considering has parents and community members worried. And now they are speaking up against it. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you with why they don't approve of this new program. Also a look at the curriculum itself. Nadine, to be clear, it's not sex ed that these folks are opposed to, not at all. They told me today that their concern it would be the way that the information in the program would be taught and who teaches it. It's called Get Real, and it's a comprehensive sex ed program developed by Planned Parenthood. Its focus is delaying sexual activity and teaching students how to engage in safe sex once they do start having it. But its association with Planned Parenthood is a deal breaker for some members of the Spokane community. Spokane, you know, we are a wonderful community that is very family oriented and so we need to do it in a way that actually teaches to who this community is. Joanna Hyatt has young children who will one day be educated in the Spokane School District. Her father, John Repsold, is a pastor and he's on the Spokane Schools Committee that's working on the new sex ed curriculum. They're uncomfortable with the way Get Real presents information to students about disease prevention, abstinence, and sexual decision making. They say the program would sexualize students. What we're opposed to is the way it's being taught in this curriculum. So we have proposed to the district several options. One would be a two-track option in which uh, you have this curriculum or another curriculum and parents can choose between those. In other parts of the country, Get Real has had success. A 2014 study by the Journal for School Health concluded that 15% fewer boys and 16% fewer girls engage in sex after going through Get Real education. That's compared to students who didn't. It also meets Washington state standards for sexual education in classrooms. And while that's legally enough to make the program teachable, Repsold and Hyatt say they don't feel that's enough for them. This program meets the state standards. What it doesn't meet is the local standards. We did reach out to Planned Parenthood for a comment today, but we didn't hear back from them. But just to be clear, again, this program has not been implemented. It's still in discussion. It has been for about a year. And no matter which program is eventually implemented, parents will still have the option to opt out if they choose. We'll explain a little bit more about that and go into further depth about those state standards for sex ed coming up tonight on KXOI 4 News at 630. Live in Spokane, Caroline Rourke, KXOI 4 News. All right. Thank you, Caroline.